There is one thing we need to stop doing as saints. And I still catch some saints doing this from time to time. Listen. When you see an open door, that's an open door. I'm talking about open doors to the enemy. Open doors to Satan. When there's a satanic door in your life, close that satanic door. Plain and simple. That does not mean cutting everyone off. No. It doesn't mean avoiding everyone. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about knowing what you're dealing with. Look. If you have a cousin, for example, and this cousin never bothers you, there's no hate, no strife, none of that. But you notice that this cousin, let's say it's a female cousin, she has a type of uh, denial issue that's the one that she's she tends to flee from difficulty, like most people in the world do, but she tends to deny how grievous the situation is. When bad things happen around her or in her life, well, in her life, I mean around her, she tends to be slow with admitting it. That's dangerous because that means that she can carry danger with her unaware and Satan can trigger that danger against you. Why? Because she's in contact with you. She carries the danger. The danger should not kill her off. But the danger she carries with her, nevertheless. So everywhere she goes, that danger is. So you do the mod. She is in contact with you. She has access to you. So Satan can use her access to you to trouble you with the danger that haunts her. So the danger that haunts her, whether it's an ex-boyfriend that keeps stalking her, or whether it's a current boyfriend who, uh, who is about to explode, or whether it's toxic friendships she's involved in, or whether it's a job that she needs, she needs to be delivered from, whatever it is that's afflicting her that she's not acknowledging that thing can end up afflicting you indirectly and she's not even aware why you're going through bad stuff i'm telling you recognize satanic doors and please when you recognize satanic door close it for example if you have a cousin like that you don't have to cut her off no but that does not excuse the fact that she has toxic denial what you do is you lower contact with her and look at this, the moment she lower contact, the demons that are around her will try to push her to be involved with you again. Then you know it's something satanic. Lower contact with her in a peaceful way so that she cannot ask you too directly. It can be, for example, that you have a customer in your business who just purchased some products and you, and you gain 2,000 euros, for example, in a day. And you think, whoa, it's a blessing. And it is. Now, the demons are aware that you got a financial blessing. So, the demons want to drain it. That same day, or maybe within two or three days, after you gain those 2,000 euros, suddenly, this cousin uh, calls you saying, Hey, f hey Frank, uh, I need uh, $1,000 because... Um, my, my laundry machine broke down. And also, my whole house uh, is underwater due to the laundry machine. I need $1,000. Can you please help me? And because she's a cousin, you're on good terms. She can want, I can help you out. But here's the thing. Right after you send her the money on your cash app. Oh, you don't have cash apps in yours. But okay. In, after you send her the money through your mobile app, suddenly you, you hear about an investment project where you can invest uh, 1,500 euros. You have 1,000 euros, but you lack the 500. And then you realize, oh, crap, I just gave the other 1,000 to my cousin. This was what's going on. The demons knew that once you got that financial blessing of those 2,000, that you would invest it in something great. So the demons, right before the great thing appeared, they came with a need to trick your good heart to help someone out. And it was really demons caused that circumstance to drain you. Now, if that cousin of yours was not that much involved with you, she would likely not even think about asking you for the money when the need come. So the demons caused her laundry machine to break down and caused that disaster in her house just because the demons knew you were one of the people she may ask for money. And because you were the one that had the money, because demons knew that you got the financial blessing, demons knew by us causing this uh, turmoil in her life, she will likely ask that believer, and that believer will help her out, and by that we're draining that believer from the blessing just received. Just check this out. 
if you get a financial advantage somewhere in life, maybe just 50 euros or $50, it doesn't have to be big amounts, check will appear shortly afterwards. If you get a financial le- uh, advantage in life and suddenly someone appears that begins to eat off of the financial leverage just received, then they are sent by the enemy. Look, sometimes God uh, blesses you financially so that you can help someone out. There's nothing wrong with that. So I don't think that just because someone is in a financial need and they ask for help, that's automatically Satan that sent them. I'm not saying that. But look at this. This is a pattern that Satan is using. You get the financial advantage and very quickly some big need appears in a very emotional way. Check it out, man. Check it out. That is the enemy robbing you. Check relatives will only appear near the first of the month after you got your payment. Because most people get their payments at the end of the month. And the first of the month, they've paid the rent. They've done all of that the, uh, at the last week of the previous month. So the first of the month, you have money left that you can spend the rest of the month. This is how it goes with most people who have, who have a paycheck. Now, when at the end of the month, we have to pay your rent and all of that, those people don't appear. But often at the first of the month, they suddenly begin to call you, hey, how are you, whatever. And if you keep talking to them, sooner or later you figure out they need something, some financial favor. Check it. Some people almost always appear around the first of the month. That's not a coincidence. Some of them are just narcissistic and they know, oh, uh, Rashid or Kevin just pay their rent to everything, so the money they're, they're left with. Hmm, maybe I can get some. Some people are not sit, just want to exploit you. Others are not aware that it's demons using them to exploit you. So genuinely, something may go wrong in their lives and suddenly need money and they think about you. But why did they think go wrong in their life right now around, around the first of the month? Because demons know around the first of the month you're, you, uh, you have a lot of cash that you, that you can use to invest in other stuff. That's how demons drain you financially. And this is one of the reasons why it's good to, from time to time, be a bit, be a bit unto yourself. I'm not telling you to become a loner, to cut everyone off and all of that, no. But listen, there are times it is better for you. I'm telling you, there are times it's better for you not to be involved with that many people. Because you, being involved, with that many people will bring trouble to your life. And a lot of folks, let me just be frank, a lot of folks, they are not aware that these demons start using them. So they're not guilty in the sense that they literally intend to exploit you. But nevertheless, it's happening. And it's your responsibility as a believer to recognize what is going on. The reason I make this video is because there are too many believers who are being robbed over and over again, and it's only after they're being robbed to realize, hold on a minute, how come always when I have a financial advantage, it kind of leaves me very quickly? And they're not even aware that they're being drained by the people they're involved with. Now, maybe it's not people asking you for financial help. Maybe it's that suddenly, out of the blue, you have people accusing you of stuff and you need to appear before court. And for for you to go before court, you need a lawyer. And having a lawyer is going to cost you money. And look at the timing when the false accusation came. Right when you gained something financially. Look, it's a common, well-known pattern that works 99% of the time. That once you get a financial advantage somewhere, demons try to take it away from you, either through people who so- suddenly, out of the blue, need money because something went wrong in their lives, or by um, accusations that tricks you into defending yourself, whether it's in a court of law or whether it's through other means, and that's going to cost you also. So, beware of the people you are involved with. If you see a satanic door, Close it. You don't have to actually block the individual, cut off all contact, unless they're reprobate and quite dangerous. Of course, then you do it. Just lower contacts and make yourself less available to them. 
I'm telling you, pay attention to this. This is something that even destroyed the marriages. Because, for example, the husband and the wife finally had some money saved and they were about to do something fun with the family and suddenly uh, one, of the, one of the children is in need. The children are grown men and he needs help. Or maybe it's not one of the children or maybe it's the mother-in-law or father-in-law or someone close to them suddenly is in need and they end up helping the individual out at their own expense. Or let's say you have a couple, anytime they are, they've saved some money and they're about to invest in their own household, out of the blue, uh, there's a court case coming, there's a debt collector ch uh, chasing them, or some type of trouble coming. And the couple's going to experience as anytime things are going well with us, there's some tragedy happening. So sooner or later, either the husband or the wife begins to doubt whether their uh, marriage is blessed by God, and before you know it, they think about divorce. Pay attention to blessing trainers. I'm telling you, pay attention to them. Someone may not intend, intend to drain you. Someone may not intend to uh, sabotage you, but demons are using them. So if they're being used by demons, you need to treat them as a potential threat also. No matter if you're on good terms with them. Satan is not only using your enemies to drain you. Satan is also using people on your side to drain you also. Satan is quite advanced. He will use people close to you who are on your side to drain you. If those people have open doors. That's why it's quite important to check the type of people you're involved with. For real. Well, that's it for now. Keep it on with Christ. Pray for those that the enemy are using against you. But make sure you lower contact and you're less available to them. That's for your own well-being. Be at peace.